I love coming out of my house now and seeing this thing. Here we are building and you've come to Cal Earth to learn how to build and there's a physical aspect to that. We're suddenly here building a house. Six inches more to the outside. I was working in Los Angeles as a musician, struggling really, and I just had arrived at a point where musically I'd hit a wall, financially I felt like I hit a wall, and I wanted to try and provide for myself. You know, musicians drink and they don't get much sleep and they do all kinds of terrible things. <laughs> so I had a lifestyle that needed to be um, modified. Oh yeah. I didn't have a particularly healthy life. And slowly as I moved towards eating whole food and eating healthy food, um, it doesn't take much of a jump to start to ask, well, what about a healthy house? What about the health of the structure that you live in? I just suddenly stopped renting a house, sold my stuff, got on the phone to Cal Earth and showed up. Cal Earth is the California Institute of Earth, Arts, and Architecture. We are a nonprofit foundation, and in our nonprofit work, we are an educational institute and also a disaster relief charity. We teach our students, empower our students how to build structures called super adobe. What that means is taking long sandbags and barbed wires and building the structures that you see. Now these structures are fireproof, hurricane proof, tornado proof, earthquake resistant, they work in harmony with nature, and they have a minimal carbon footprint. We have right here adobe, we have earth, and we can build our house out of earth. You put the earth in the bag and you put the barbed wire on top of it. <laughs> There's not much to that. All right, keep going. And that's why we can reasonably say to people, hey, come and we'll show you how to build a dome house quickly. This is an example of what can be done with sandbags. And you pack the soil inside these tubes and then compact it. And each layer comes up like so until you've generated some sort of a structure. Most of these buildings can be built in one day with 10 people and you could create these structures. And we teach workshops in a matter of a few days we have people doing this. So it really is a very simple method of building. So these are our long-term apprentices building a dome. Right now they're laying the foundation layer the part that touches the ground. I love Super Adobe, I love working with the earth, so that's what I'm doing here. I would love to build up my own house up in Upper Michigan. I think once people see this technology up there, they're going to want to do workshops, maybe an eco-village. I've found in architecture what I used to have in music, which is excitement and passion and fun and everything that you, sh you know, that you hope to have. That's Eco Dome. It's a 400 square foot sort of tiny house concept. We could deliver that, no question, with paid labor for 50,000. But we're not selling anything. We're selling education. We're saying, come learn yourself, skip the 50,000, pay 10 for the material input and figure out how to build it. There's a solution there. It's to do with people power and cooperating and forming relationships with people. Hopefully we will be finishing the dome that's behind me next week. It's been 
moving a little slow and we've definitely had to correct ourselves quite a few times, but it's all part of learning. One, two, three. Uh-huh, drop it, good. Getting close though. We're gonna do this, you're getting really close to the top. This is the coda to our work. I'm excited to be closing it. That's it. Woohoo! Woo Woo <laughs> I thought it was going to be a lot easier, but there's a lot of things that can go wrong. This is a small scale, so we, we're really excited to actually build like a, an actual, you know, official dome, you know. If they can do this as they've demonstrated in the last three weeks, then they become part of a team of people who today can build houses out of sandbags. So for us, that's just a win. It means we've got five more people in this army that we're educating and moving forward. So I mean, I feel fantastic. <laughs> Michelle. Michelle? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Where are you from, Michelle? Uh, Lake Arrowhead. Oh, wow. Yeah. Cool. Not too far. Huh? Thanks for having us here. This is not new. Right now, as we speak, as you're filming this, I know for a fact, because I've looked into this, half of the world lives in adobe houses. We started this, um, myself and two of my older kids, we started in 2006. And we moved in in May of 2010. So I, you know, call it almost four years, really. This Super Adobe system is is able to advance a very significantly ecological model of housing. That's the right thing for this time in human history. <laughs>